Hey everyone, can you solve these types of quadratic equation in just a seconds? Literally in two seconds? No, right? So today I am going to show you a simple Vedic method to solve a quadratic equation in just a seconds. No formula method, no factorization. Let's find the roots of the quadratic equation. So here we have like this. So if you just see the quadratic equation, you directly jump to formula or the factorization method. So here no formula. So how we can do? So first multiply the first term, third term coefficient. Right? So first term coefficient is 1. So if you multiply, you get 6. Then look after the factors of 6. So if you multiply those factors, you should get third term. If you add or subtract those factors, you should get middle term. So like that, we need to choose the factors. Okay, then. So can I consider 2 and 3? Ah, if I have 2 and 3, we get 5. Okay, but here we have a minus 5. In that case, we should give. So for both the term, we should give negative, negative. Ah, minus into minus plus. So this satisfies. After that, just uh, reverse the sign. Then x is equal to 2. Then x is equal to 3. So this is our roots. We can recross check by doing the factorization method. Is it right? Yes. Let us consider another example. So, multiply the coefficient of first term term. So, 81. Then, look after the factors of 81. What are the factors of 81? 1, 81, 9 and 9. So, how do we choose the factors? If you add these factors, we should get a middle term. Or if you multiply these factors, we should get a last term. Right? Okay. So, here we have a plus 18. So, for both the factors, I can give plus 9 and plus 9. Then, after that, just reverse the sign. So x is equal to minus 9, minus 9. Let's move to slightly tougher quadratic equations. Like this 3x square minus 5x plus 2. So we should multiply the coefficient of first term, last term. 3, 2 is 6. Then after that, go with the factors of this. So 2 and 3 can I consider? Okay. Then after that, we should get a negative. So here both are negative. So minus into minus plus 6, we are getting. After that, so as I said, in those problems, we have only the quotient is 1, but here quotient is 3. So in that case, we need to divide by the coefficient. Okay. So then just reverse the size. Then x is equal to 2 comma 3. Then after that, we should divide by this coefficient. 2 by 3, 3 by 3. Then x is equal to 2 by 3, 3 by 3 means 1. So that's our answer. Next, let us consider this and multiply the first and last quotient. 6, 6, the 36 minus 36 and go with the factors of 36. So if I consider 9 and 4, can I get 5? Yes. Means for if it is positive here, for a bigger number, it should be positive. For a smaller number, we should get negative. See 9 4 is 36. We'll get it. Then after that, reverse the sign. Minus 9 plus 4. Then if we have the coefficient is 6, in that case we need to divide the coefficient. Divide this. Then 3 3 is 3 2 is Minus 3 by 2, then 2 2 is 2 3 is 2 by 2. So these are the roots of the equation. Now you are done. Solve this quadratic equation and drop your answers in the comment below. If you like this uh, trick, hit the like button, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe for more basic matters like this. See you in the next. Take care. Keep learning. Keep calculating.